Gorilla Gospel Motorcycle Club. Now, if you've never heard of the Gorilla Gospel Motorcycle Club before, well, it is a pretty cool group of people. In fact, instead of me trying to explain it, I'm going to pass it on over to Todd. So, Todd, Gorilla Gospel, what is it? Well, uh, thank you. We're, we're a club of ex-cons and sinners, and, um, and we look at it like we're trying to change the world and leave the world a better place than the way we left it in our previous lives and, and lifestyles. And so um, we're a group of rough guys and tough guys, but guys that want to make a change, uh, guys that are either serious or curious about the Lord. Um, we, you don't have to be a saved, sanctified believer to be in our club, but you need to be looking in a direction for something spiritual, for some, a change in life. And, so, um, and we want to be kind of a catalyst for that change. Anything to say? We got six minutes to go, Tom. Six minutes to go. <laughs> so tell us about the turnout. Well, the turnout's real good. You know, what I mean, we were able to uh, cover our high and low hand. You know, and do a good thing for these prisoners again. So that's real big. You know, Gorilla Gospel. That's how we do it. We do it real big. Um, if you take a look around here, you see it's going down. You know, we got a lot of people supporting. A lot of people coming out here to do this poker run. Running the Cascades 2012. It's going down. Gospel Motorcycle Club. We built this club as a brotherhood for guys like us who primarily are coming out of a life of crime in the penitentiary system. Coming out of prison, there wasn't a lot of support for some of these men, and so we designed a club of like-minded guys that would uh, hold each other accountable and build each other up, not unsimilar to the early church in Acts. We would meet guys where they are, and we would lead by example, and we'd hope that our behaviors and our actions would speak louder than words and preaching would. 
Uh, I knew early on this wasn't going to be pretty. It wasn't going to be uh, warm and fuzzy, and uh, it was going to be rough. And um, that was okay. I felt that's what God called me to to do and to create, and um, that's what we did. And that was right. <laughs> Sometimes it isn't. But um, but early on, what we realized also is that uh, these guys wanted to help people. Um, and I looked at it as like we're helping each other by being a part of this club. And, and like I say, early on, guys said, you know, we want to help others. We want to do programs. We want to do outreach. And I thought it was kind of funny. And being democratic, we vote on everything. And, and sure enough, from the very beginning, we're voting in outreach ministry ideas, uh, nonprofit charity stuff and nonprofit charity events. As these programs got underway, I watched the guys and um, I watched it. The more they helped others, the more they took ownership in that, the more that it became part of their identity uh, to be guys that were helping, guys that were giving back. Uh, the more media coverage we got uh, saying that, you know, we were now the good guys, it made guys start to embody the things that are characteristic of the good guys. You got to understand, most of us have spent the greater portions of our lives being known as the bad guys, being known as the guys that hurt people. Um, that was all part of our identity and our identities were wrapped up within that. Um, so to watch this change in and of itself is not only a miracle, it's unbelievable. It, it's, the, it's the greatest thing that I've, God has allowed me to be a part of in my life to this day. Brains over chains promoting education over incarceration. Uh, this is the brainchild of one of our guys, Lorenzo. He came up with this. He's got a passion for reading and a passion for books. And um, one of our other members, one of my best friends, Tony, had just came home after serving 10 years in the penitentiary. He actually said that, you know, they don't have very many books out in Umatilla at Two Rivers Prison. So we could maybe get a program together, ask the public to donate books, and then we would deliver them out to the prison. So I said, great, you know, good idea. And we voted it in and um, we ran with it. It was kind of Lorenzo's brainchild and so the Eugene chapter over in Eugene, Oregon, they kind of ran with it and got everything set up for it. So for two months, we uh, asked the public to donate any and all used books, um, new or used, any kind of books. The prison said they'd take whatever uh, that we could bring them. And so we uh, did that. And um, at the end of the little run, we ended up with 10,000 books. And uh, I think the prison was even surprised when we pulled up with big 4 by 4 trucks and U-Haul trailers and in uh, Tahoe and <laughs> back to the rim with books. And, um, and we delivered them. This program is now our flagship program. Um, it's something we feel real strongly about, and it's something that we're going forward with full force. Uh, we have a vision and a dream in the future to have enough books to be able to supply any prison in the country that needs books. Um, we'd like for a prison to call us, you know, you name it, in a different state and say, hey, uh, we need books here. And we'd say, great, how many? And we'll ship them to you. That's the overall vision for this particular program, um, and it's something that's very doable. We, we want the public to get involved with us again. We're doing Brains Over Chains, too. We'd love to get any and all books that we can, books that are sitting around in people's attics, garages, whatever. They'll take them. Believe me, books that you think maybe aren't worth anything are worth the world to an inmate sitting in prison who can use them to educate themselves and to make themselves better. We have a heart for inmates and people in the system. We've been there ourselves. We understand it. Um, we also understand that a lot of the world maybe doesn't have that same uh, feeling, same thing put on their heart for inmates. Here's the deal, though. What we believe is that even if you don't support inmates or believe in inmates, you know, lock them up, throw away the key, that's fine. But here's the reality. People go to the penitentiary, they come home. That's a fact. Recidivism is super high. That means people are going to prison, they're coming home, they're going back to prison. This is a cycle. It's going over and over again. Now, your neighbors, your daughters, your kids, your sons, you know, people are going to be victims of crime. That's, that's a reality. So what we want to do is we want the public that maybe doesn't have the same heart with us understand help us help you help the community help it make become a safer place by educating guys that technically are the guys that will be coming home and committing more crimes and causing more victims and creating the world to be a less safe place than it is already okay so we're asking that the community will get involved and help us why us why gorilla gospel motorcycle club well we look at it like this uh why not us who better who better to help these guys and who better to get involved with trying to make the world a better place than these guys that were the wrongdoers, these guys that were these men that were making the world uh, so much of a more dangerous place and a worse place for the greater portions of their lives. Okay, we understand it. We've been there. Um, we also know what it's like to change. In America, the rate of recidivism and guys going back to prison is very, very high, alarmingly high, like 70 to 80 percentile, depending on where you look. 
risk. However, I know one place where recidivism is non-existent. That's Gorilla Gospel Motorcycle Club. Okay. Now we've spent the last three years with a whole bunch of ex-cons, a big group of guys here. We got them in Eugene. We got them in Ben. None of our guys have gone back to the county jail or to the prison system. Not one. Ten years. Free at last, homie. What's up, baby? What's up, Good to see you. I can't believe it. Toes to the pavement, brother. I committed a crime. I shot somebody that shouldn't have been shot, and. I was sentenced to prison for 10 years and I had to do every single day under Measure 11. You, you got two choices, you either change your life or you don't. I'm in a motorcycle club by the name of uh, Gorilla Gospel and uh, our mission is to fix our wrongdoings and push each other to uh, to our limits and to make us better men for the world. I want to prove people I'm not just some dumb idiot convict. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a smart, educated person. And uh, I applied for the University of Oregon and within a few weeks I was uh, accepted. I applied for the uh, Lundquist School of Business Honors Program uh, and I got in. If Somebody hears about the success that I have had and that I've been in the same spot that they have been. I'm hoping that's going to motivate somebody because they're going to be like, oh my God, this person, I remember him. Or, oh my God, this person's life is just like mine. You know what? If he changed, I can't. And uh, it's hard. It's uh, <laughs> uh Nobody likes to be a failure. Nobody likes uh, uh, to look be looked down upon. And uh, I think that's my biggest fear is, is I don't want to be looked down upon. I want to be looked at as an equal. And that's one of the things is best about Guerrilla Gospel is this. They were there when I was at, at my highest. They were with me when I was at my lowest. And now that I'm rising back to the top, they're still with me. And even just a few ex-cons. We raised over 10,000 books the very first time to give back to inmates, to help inmates, you know, better themselves and hopefully, you know, realize that there's something else out there in life because we gave them nonfiction. We gave them educational books that they can learn and grow off of. Uh, that is our mission is just to, to educate people and realize that it doesn't have to be like that no more. You get a change and you get a second chance at life, so take advantage of it. And if you're willing to do it, you can do it, and it, and it can grow from there. Storms that never last I'm looking out the window like When's it gonna pass? I need some cash I did the math It keeps sending this subtraction The fate is just the laws of attraction I never know Pause traction Fast lane cocaine dealer Trying to ease his pain With these painkillers I don't want my soul to be stained To obtain my wealth I couldn't learn from his mistakes I had to make them myself And I ain't never been scared But reality is frightening My three-year-old daughter's name Came from my indictments Like a VH1 star With a hard end Shit, I'm serving a life sentence And I still got a charge pending Seems like everywhere I go now they watch it Hiding this pain in my eyes behind Versace's Can't sleep, I'm too busy chasing dreams In the face in the posse down like I ain't never seen yet Don't you think that I'm lost, shit 
gotten out of hand. What started feeling true? Uh huh. Uh huh. They don't understand. Don't understand. Uh huh. I've always been crazy, but it helped me from going insane. I grew up thinking this part of the game. The mountain laws always taught me bad guys were the feds. Don't get high on your supply, your brain will look like eggs in a skillet. Yeah, can you feel it? Forget it. Hate this baby crack air. That's how I'ma get it. Just fresh up out of jail. New plan, new man, but I can't seem to change who I am. I'm a hustler. I've been running for so long from them boys. I can't go to sleep without the noise. Television zone, forty by my head, kneeling on the couch while my shoulders in the bed. If I stay awake to five, I probably sell another ounce. Shoes tied tight just in case I gotta bounce. Hit it ties, hit the gravel. How they know I'm back at it? Little girl looking daddy, why you in the attic? I'm mine. Uh, life's good, man. It's happy, man. I mean, just what we just did today felt really, really good, you know? I mean, it was a little weird hearing the door, uh, door slam behind me, but I know somebody's going to be happy about this because this is what gorillas do. Gorillas take care of each other. They take care of people they don't even know because they love them. We got big hearts, big bots.
Hey, we're here at Hillcrest 2013 Brain Silver Chains. We're on the Gospel Motorcycle Club. We made it happen again. These guys have been so nice to us. We delivered their books. It's a win win. Win win. Working with you guys, and the kids are really, I think, going to benefit from all of the books. Um, this is the largest, I think, donation of books that we've ever had, uh, at least in, in the 11 years since I've been the principal here. And, uh, we will definitely put them to good use. Um, I think we're going to share them with other um, youth correctional facilities. I was surprised you when you open up the back of the book to see the books. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is more than the truckload. <laughs> so, I'm very, very grateful. I appreciate the. Uh, <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? We just got back. Seen a lot of pain since I was a child, so wait for me. I've done a few things that just ain't right, so wait for me. Wait what for I've been me. through will make you cry, so wait for me. Oh, I'm trying to change my
MVP, what do you got to say for yourself? I need more wind in my hair. <laughs> finished the river run 2013 all said and done we probably got 2500 miles on the bikes at least a lot of sunshine yeah a little you know skin feel some rings some shirt some good times rock and roll some of the rings yeah <laughs> here we are beautiful Laughlin Nevada the AVI resort Jumping out the window, Ron Brown's knee pain. I never had it, so I used to do whatever for it. I'd lie, steal cheap, but ended up no better for it. Among the plant eaters, I'm a real Tyrannosaurus. All the fans adore us, turn it up, they fighting for us. I'm in the Benjamins, France like my name is Horace. The Euro V be performing, now the crowd is roaring. I met the crib with a Euro V and she adorned. Best believe this life ain't free, believe me, I'm fighting for us. It starts out sunny, then it sprinkles, now it's really pouring. This roller coaster really drops low, but now I'm soaring. I look at clouds through my Louis on a different trip. I came out the cage and look at all what I did. What do you gotta say about really not so much? I always knew I could fly, live a beautiful life. This my beautiful Bash. life. What's your position <laughs> in the club? National Sergeant in Arms, ass whooper. <laughs> 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 I don't 
know how to put this, but... This ain't what you want! Are you right down with this here? Hey, you here! The weapon against God shall prosper, period! From the womb to the world, from the world to the grave, from the grave to the heavens in my spirit. From the liquor to the drugs, the police and the thugs to my prayers. And I hope that he hears it. Little kids in the street never sleep, never eat, carry burdens of the mamas and their papas. To the hell on this earth, getting hot, getting worse, cause we're cursed. Nobody can stop us. Sights that I've seen, see the lust, see the greed, jealousy, and kill him. Walk the walk that I've walked all alone in the dark, overtaken by this feeling that I'm feeling. Touch the hand that I've touched in the night, what a rush turning blue, so cold and breathless. See the bars and the chains on your wrist, on your brain, feel the pain of a grown man's death wish. Is this all that is? Is that a warning? And talk to them fools Tryna holler while they sipping on brew Cause you're gonna lose Gotta stay focused Keep your mind on your dreams Don't get hypnotized by the bling Deep inside you must believe And you succeed Cause all we giving is a chance They play the music and we dance And can't nobody make it last If we don't stop and listen It could be over in the flash When you killing for that cash Flipping Apache and blasting With Tomahawk missiles Moktada, Al-Sada, Bin Laden, Al-Qaeda They all multiplying and hiding And George can't find them And even if he didn't kill them Then another would come we making enemies faster than we can pick up a gun Is this all that this? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that this? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that this? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that this? Is that a warning no more? Brothers and my sisters, we can make it if we listen to each other and just keep on. Is this all that is? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that is? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that is? Is that a warning no more? Is this all that is? Is that a warning? Yes. 
Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and please touch my soul. Thank you, Father. I know you're waiting for me to come home again. That's how we do out here, man. Still <laughs> All right, we're out here at Silver Streets. What you guys think about these bikes here? Um, I want to ride. <laughs> I want to ride. Got an extra help. Dig what Todd's doing here. Right on, man. Don't have the Malibu anymore, but I will. What? No Malibu? No wonder you snuck up on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a wonderful thing you're doing out here with the Silver Streets. Good is Lorenzo's giving these people a ride home all on Gorilla Gospel. Hey, that's big right there. Right. Keep the drunk drivers off the street. Keep the motorcycle riders safe. Mm -hmm. That's the big. It's good. Yes, sir. And I know that for a fact these cops 
and politicians are plumb crazy. Have a nice day. I refuse to be brainwashed. Think for yourself. Do some digging. Pick the chains off. They're lying in the papers. Lying on the TV. Lying to your kids with the hopes you won't believe me. I spent a few years with my mouth shut. Eyes open. Watching all these preachers act like video games collecting tokens. But we still broken. We out here in the cold frozen. Watching this go by in slow motion. Games, I'm 